This one was hard for me. I couldn't figure out exactly where I was going to. But I think I figured out something here. Uh, let me start with James 1, verse 17. Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow, in the exercise of his will, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would be a kind of first fruits among his creatures. And then I found a number of maybe unrelated verses from a lot of places throughout the Bible. Let me start with Nehemiah 10, verse 35. And so that they could bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of all the fruit of every tree to the house of the Lord annually. And then in uh, Psalms 105, Verse 36, he also fatally struck all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their vigor. And then in 1 Corinthians, which uh, Clarence has already made reference to, but the fact is Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who are asleep. And then a couple verses later, but each in his own order, Christ is the first fruits after that, those who are Christ's at his coming. And then in Deuteronomy 18, you shall give him the first fruits of your grain, your new wine, and your oil, and the first fleece of your sheep. Okay. What's the importance of this first fruits thing over and over? Keep talking. First fruits. That's where I ran into the problem. But I got to thinking about it. When humanity was a mostly agrarian people, they grew their own. They grew their own. Or they traded for it if they didn't grow. Each fall, whatever they grew was harvested. In Proverbs 3, we learn, Honor the Lord from your wealth, and from the first of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will overflow with new wine. And then we get back to this, this whole thing about the first fruits. That should be the best. You should honor God with the best. Don't bring the the wheat that isn't fully ripe and fully sweet. In 1 Corinthians again, and I'm going back to what I had said, but in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first of a great harvest of all who die. So you see, just as death came into the world through a man, now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man. Just as everyone dies because we all belong to Adam, everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. Oh, that's the first fruits rendering a benefit to us, right? Because we honor God with those first fruits. But there is an order to this resurrection. Christ was raised as the first of the harvest. Then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back. 